And right now, Toby is here to tell me about it. How are you? Absolute. I'm great, man. Thanks for having me. I feel like I'm seeing the laboratory right now. Like, I feel like I'm seeing where the sausage gets made here. Is this your studio? Yeah, you got the you got the inside scoop, inside access. <laughs> um, you know, this has been this has been my favorite place for the last uh, 10 weeks. <laughs> is this in your house? Uh, right now, yeah. Yeah. So you've been able to like have a studio at home. That's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, since I can't go out to the studio, since I can't go out to, you know, my regular spot, I might as well make the most of it at home, so. Why not? You know, has the pandemic changed how you were going to release this song? Um, I mean, it was strange because when we shot the video for 24 Remix, it was literally a couple of weeks before the whole lockdown occurred, and we were scrambling to get it done you know, sooner than later without any anticipation that this was going to happen. Um, but, you know, we just we just kept the strategy in mind and just released it anyways. What made you want to revisit? 24 was already a great song. I'm not saying that the remix isn't amazing, but what made you want to revisit the song? Um, it was just one of those songs that I felt like my perspective is 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 singular to the overall experience. I feel like there's so many people who related to that song and I wanted to get other artists who could speak to, you know, some of the themes on there that made sense to connect with other, you know, other kids, other youth, other people sharing live, similar lived experiences. Tell me a little bit about the song to begin with. Like what inspired you to write it in the first place? Absolutely. Uh, when I wrote the original version of the song, I was meditating on my life and, and you know how far I'd come at the age of 24 and seeing you know different things that I had uh, overcome in my lifetime um, and you know I was I was very troubled by the amount of premature deaths um, especially with uh, young black men uh, in the United States and Canada and you know I was meditating on the on the harsh realities of that and just being grateful and and feeling that personal power in that I'm able to tell my own story now. Wow, what's gonna happen in 20, 20 years from now, you know? I still wanna be able to tell my own story. So when you tell me that like you wanted to bring other people's perspectives into this, did that mean you'd have to mm -hmm. sit down with Shad, you'd have to sit down with Havai and say, hey, listen, here's my experience. I, you know, I wanna know what you think. I wanna know what you're feeling here. Uh, when I reached out to them initially, I didn't go that I didn't go that deep into right. the concept. You know, I let them they had already heard the song and their immediate response to me was, Whoa, what you were talking about in this song, I felt it. So I didn't have to do we didn't have to meet up and say, you know, this is the exact route that I need to go. It was intuitive. That, and, must, uh, that must mean so much you know, to you to have them get it, you know, to have them feel something, see themselves in the song, you know? Absolutely. It means that I was telling the truth. That's what it means to me. It means I was being honest and, you know, uh, for, for somebody to acknowledge a part of the song without me giving them an explanation, it means, you know, part of it is reality. Tell me about this video. Wow. Um, Man, where do I start with the video? First of all, you know, shout out to Kit Wayman, who directed the video. Uh, he's a, a Toronto native and a good friend of mine for the last uh, couple of years. And we wanted to we wanted to make a moment for uh, the city, for Canadian hip hop uh, history, you know, something that people could seek inspiration from as well. And in the video, I just wanted the artist to be presented in in their full light, you know, I wanted everybody to to look like and feel like a star, and as we all are, you know, and I think we did a great job of that with the with the with the styling, the cinematography, and you know, the locations that we sourced as well. So, T tell me the story very... you're telling in the video. I mean, Shad's a professor, Havaya's on a police cruiser. Tell me a little bit about the story. Yeah, for sure thing. So, uh, Shad's portion. He's essentially in a role of of a mentor, or or 
older role model figure to, you know, his younger self. And you see that uh, being parlayed when uh, the performance scenes keep switching back and forth between him and his and his younger self. And I think the way it was executed on the video was uh, was to the T. If you listen to his verse as well, he's talking about um, him growing up and, you know, wrestling with societal expectations. Uh, with Havaya, it was more so the same thing, being uh, her her opinions and being stereotyped and being judged uh, for who she is before getting to know her inner being. It's just something that she was uh, talking about. And we wanted to put the powerful imagery on there. And that's what we did. Something sticking out to me that you said earlier, I said, you know, what did it mean for you to know that these people, you know, related to your song? And you said it meant that I was telling the truth. Right. Does that come easy? Is that something you had to learn to tell the truth in your music? Um, <laughs> I mean, I definitely think that it, as a as an artist, well, in my journey as an artist, you know, I've come from a place where I've been growing personally and that coincides with the artistry and you know as it can be difficult at certain times because you you know you need to you're putting you're putting your vulnerabilities and your truths out there and some people aren't ready to accept that yeah um or some people disagree with what you have to say yeah but somebody has to say it and um you know it's not something that i strive to do every time but when it's necessary absolutely I think that when you tell the truth in your music, right. there is a sense of accomplishment that you made a piece of music, but there's also an accompanying sense of relief. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you went for a run, like you told someone you love them. There's a, mm. there's a catharsis that happens when you tell the truth. Absolutely, I agree with that. You know, did you, did you, did you feel that when you, when you re released this song? I definitely felt that it was freeing, you know, I think uh, it, 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 it's freeing in the sense that a lot of the times it's these thoughts and ideas that you've been unable to express in, you know, daily conversation or, you know, in, in your regular everyday living. Um, and art is the perfect medium to get that across. It's funny, man. Yeah. I, I know, like, I know that sometimes that I don't know if I'm, I don't even know that I'm feeling the things that I'm feeling until I start writing. Wow. You know what I mean? That's powerful. Yeah, that's powerful. It brings it to life, huh? That's you mentioned um, Kit Wayman earlier and the MVP yeah. project. I want to talk about that for a second. Why is the MVP project so vital to young artists? Yeah, it's important, man. Um, you know, the space for artists to be able to get funding to bring their ideas to life is, is truly is a blessing and is one that uh, I think, you know, all artists in Toronto should be aware of that it exists. So, you know, big shout out to the MVP prize for, for, uh, for existing, first of all, and uh, secondly, for carrying this across. You're gonna do this song sort of home isolation mode. Yeah. How does that work? What, do you, what, what are we going to see right now? I mean, it, <laughs> you know, it may not be as intense as, as being on stage, but, you know, we'll make it happen. We'll make it work. You know, the sound quality is going to be good. The, the, the energy and the intention is going to be on point. Let's believe. I think right now people want that. They want, even though they understand people are in their homes, but they can... They can kind of sense that power through the screen, man. Like, you know, I'm, I, I really think it's, I, I know we can't be on stage right now, but I, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Absolutely. Thank you. What a Thank joy you. it is it's to see it. Uh, congrats on the song and the video and, and nice to see you again. Thank you. You too, Tom.